But let's talk seriously about this this technology. We just made this music video that's about, you know, don't text and drive. And now, I will admit, now that I have made this music video, I don't, don't think there can ever be any texting and driving. I don't do texting and driving, but I do. You do driving, stopping, and texting, though, don't you? I, I, I occasionally will be like, oh, I just got a text. I'm going to stop like. And now, uh, now because if I get, if I get, now that we've got this music video out there, it's like, oh, you guys are the not texting and driving guys, so you can't get caught texting and driving. Well, it's interesting because you get that text while you're driving, and like my phone now fix, fits in a slot right up there by the steering wheel, so I can see if somebody texts, it's like, blam, it's right there, just glaring at me. And if I don't respond to it, a few seconds later, what happens? It again. Yeah. It's like, oh, you didn't respond to me again. You gotta respond this time. But I usually don't, unless it's something that seems to be, when someone sends you a text that's like a question, it's a simple question, you expect, they're expecting an immediate response. Well, so and there's I, just pressure. And I do the Siri. Oh, you do? I, I, oh yeah. And you've got Siri on your phone. Now, right? I've never done the text though. No, but so like, uh, I was driving my wife's car around when she's been out of town, and she's got uh, a phone holder that's up there on the dash, so it's like right here, right? So it's up high. So. Mm -hmm. She'll, she'll text me or what, or somebody will text me and I hit the thing and I'm like, uh, or, you know, text, text Jesse back or text Jesse. And then it's like, what do you want to text? And then I just say it. And the only thing is I have to still hit the phone one time to get Siri to respond. I mean, pretty soon you're just going to be able to just be like. What? I'm going to send you a text. Go ahead. I'm going to test this out. All right. We'll do it. Yeah, I'm no. getting texts right now. Did you just cut your phone back on? Yeah. Um, I got a text. Yeah, you got to use this, man. This I got a text from Dane Bo. Oh, goodness. Oh, He's dude. famous. You're a name dropper. I just dropped his name. I'm going to text him back. Mm -hmm. No, you don't want to. Uh, how do I do that? You have to click into the text. Right, I'm going to text you back. You, I, no, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hold. I don't even just know hold how it down to bring. And say, text Rhett McLaughlin. How do I hold it down? Yeah. Text Rhett. Yo. This text wreck Joe. It thinks Rhett Joe. Here's what you do. Text Rhett McLaughlin. Wait for it to ask you what you want to say. Rhett McLaughlin. Ready to send it? Ask Ask Wisconsin, Wisconsin Rhett McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Send. I have to say Ask Wisconsin. Because I was talking. She totally just spoke German. Cancel. Send. Okay. Forget it then. Forget it then. Here. Hey, don't be sassy. Like this, like this. Just hit the thing and say text Rep McLaughlin. Text Rep McLaughlin. Hey, Rhett, it's, it's Link. I was just texting you to let you know that, um, you know, I've just been thinking about some things, and um, I don't know. It's just complicated at this point. Uh, maybe it would be better just to have a phone call. I don't know why you're not returning my text. Um, you're the one making it weird. Uh, a little honesty goes a long way, and uh, I'm not giving up on our friendship but you need to pull your weight. Um, listen. <laughs> Ready to send it? It's, it's Blake. I'm gonna read it. Send it to me. Say send. Yes, send. You have a tough time, don't you? I was just reading it. Okay, I'll send it. I'll read it. Like I just received it. It's, it's Blake. I was just texting you to let you know that you know I've just been thinking about some things and I am, I don't know, it's just complicated at this point. Maybe everybody just have a phone call. I don't know why you're not returning my text. You're the one making me weird. A little honesty goes a long way and I'm not giving up on our friendship, but you need to pull your weight. Listen, it got like 90% right. Pretty good, no caption uh, I'll come back to you. Uh, I feel slightly offended about what you sent and also slightly weirded out myself because 
we're sitting here right next to one another using Siri to text to one another, which is odd when you think about it because we're saying what it is that we want to say to one another in text, but we're yeah. saying to, to, to each other in a place where we both can hear what we're saying. Right, and I'm actually talking on the text to me now. Right, so you're talking to yourself and then you're going to read it back what you just said. And I'm right. talking a little bit more quickly than you talk, so I think that Siri's going to have a more difficult time actually translating this. Yeah, I love you, Link. So fun. This is not what we plan to do at all. Isn't this so? Oh, I just got a text. Can I read it? Yeah. Well, it's longy. I feel slightly offended about what you said and also slightly weirded out myself because we're sitting here right next to my another using Siri to text one another, which is odd when you think about it because we're saying what it is a B want to say to another in text I was saying to say to each other in a place where we both can hear or saying right now I'm actually talking on the text to me right now so you're talking to yourself and then you're going to be back what you just said and I'm talking a little bit more quickly than you talk so I think that you can have a more difficult time as a translating that I love you like you said I love you like you didn't even get Lincoln. We could do this. All day. I, we could, but um, okay. So, but think about it. Think about how much you just communicated. Text somebody else, man. Um, text anybody at random. To whom shall I send this? I don't care. She wants you to ask her how long the layout is going to be. Are we there yet? FaceTime Brian. Who's Brian? Try that. <laughs> hit it, hit it, hit it. FaceTime Brian. Well, I know a lot of Brian. <laughs> yeah, you do. All, all eight of them. Never mind. I mean, I mean, you know, we should be the commercial for Siri. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, wow. Okay, so what we wanted to talk about. I don't think we got whether to. or not gestures were safe. He seemed to defeat him. Why are you said so I wanted to talk about it. Seriously, last thing. One thing that they seriously are talking about at Google is having your hand on the steering wheel and lifting a finger and it starts the uh, windshield wipers. I'll go for that. But what if you're like waving at something? The sound could be like, oh, my windshield wipers are coming on again. But uh, that was, we, you know, it was funny. Fingers crossed for you guys should make the most beautiful girl in the world is the only thing that would make it to do it with for and is best most of us. The I mean, thing I found really interesting about it is I do believe that it's based on, uh, I do I know that it's based on the way that I have typed into my phone, specifically in conversations with you. So like if I, yeah, if, if I just, if I just wanna. I feel like my words were just a whole lot more common. Like I don't think there's anything I, I like, rescue workers were killed by police officers in my head. I don't think that I can, Generate. I, what, what kind of texts have you been sending? I feel like I'm not talking about the demented side of it. I'm just saying the complexity of your texts. You must like write really serious texts to people, and I feel like my texts are things like half the people who are not the same are as, as the most important. You know, like those words: no, no rescue workers, no police, um, no. I mean, the most complex words that happened for me were the most beautiful girl in the world. That was it. It's not, not even complex. I just sent you a couple of texts while you were talking to me. Yes, you can get the hang of it all in the morning. I'm so tired of being the first place for the next few days. See, I just start with whatever's there. Yeah, like Stevie, the, the way that I discovered it was Stevie texted me and I was texting her back and then I, the first time I saw the three words. I was like, All right. So I clicked on the words and I was like, I'm only gonna use the three words. 
and I'm gonna send her the most, I'm gonna try to make a cohesive thought using only the three words presented to me each time. And that's what I'm trying to do with Rhett right now. And I didn't explain to her that's what I was doing. And um, you just thought it was par for the course. Link's just texting me. I'm so excited for my birthday and I don't think you should know that I don't have a great way to get my nails done. <laughs> it keeps, You've never gotten your nails done. But I texted about wanting to get my nails done a lot. Send that to me and I'm just gonna continue the conversation with only these choices. I'm so excited for my birthday and I don't think you should know that I don't have a great way to get my nails done. Okay. I'm at work and it was not immediately available for comment. <laughs> Your work, you're at work, but it wasn't immediately available for comment. So in other words, I'm stalling. And that, so I'm just you gonna start. So you gotta go back to the nails. Uh, okay. I'm done trying to make the best thing ever when you get to see my tweets and from last night. Okay, I'm done trying to make the best thing ever when you get to see my tweets from last night. I'm so happy for you. This is, you're being facetious, I and can tell. your family members and friends and family <laughs> members and friends are the <laughs> only thing I have to live for. Go back to. Read, all right, I'll read that. I'm so happy for you and your family members and friends and family members and friends are the only thing I have to go back to. Why do I have family and friends twice? I don't, I never type family and friends. Okay. I am an AT&T customer. So. <laughs> but uh, I can, maybe that's what's happening. Okay, so I can see it on my way to the gym today. And I'm still waiting mm. for you guys Okay, I can see it on my way to the gym today and I'm still waiting for you guys. Yes. Uh, by the way, the way that you do this is, there was a, a glitch on at least my phone, I think on Rhett's phone too. When we updated the operating system, it presented the predictive text, but then it went away, right? So you have to go into settings, keyboard, turn off predictive texting, text a little bit, then go back in and turn settings, keyboard, predictive text, turn it back on, and then it'll start working again. So if you don't see those three words, that's what you need to do. You also need to buy an iPhone if you don't have one. Yeah, they think that I want to talk about the gym and my nails. Yeah, yeah. Baby girl, wow. Never called you that before. <laughs> yes, the only thing I would like to see what you in you, my hold life. On, hold on, hold on. That's the text that you sent, Steve? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 
She didn't even respond. Did you just send this one to me? Yeah. Yes, the only thing I would like to see you in my life is the best thing about being able and willing to pay for the rest of the best thing about being able and willing and able to get the same thing to do it. That's funny to you? All mine are the same. It's very repetitive. Well, you can get in a feedback loop. My, I feel like I must be in a feedback feedback loop personally because all my texts are in a feedback loop. Friends Talk. and family and friends and family and yeah. friends and family and best thing about being able, willing and able to pay for the rest of the best thing about being able and willing and able to get the same thing to very, do it. Very looped. All right, let me my try one. My brain is very circular apparently. This will be my last one. Okay. Unless you want me to do more. Talk later. I'm not sure if you want me to get my nails done tomorrow night at work. Does your wife talk about getting her nails done and texting and, and I'm still waiting for you guys are, have, should. None of that works with the Senate, so I'm gonna hit Senate. Talk later. I'm not sure if you want me to get my nails done tomorrow night at work, and I'm still waiting for you guys. I was waiting in the last one, too. Listen, and I'm still waiting for you, you guys. Know what? That's how I ended both of those texts. The CIA and the NSA, they, <laughs> they spy on your texts, right? And, and they're works. very confused right and now. And right now they're like, boy, these guys really wanna get their nails done. <laughs> Can we break the code? Yeah. Okay. You want to send me one more? Yeah. Last one. Last one. Talk later. Maybe this game is actually more fun than the secret secret uh, target word game. Just trying to talk to someone using only the predictive words. You can tell you're typing something. It actually helps to read it as you're selecting it because you can keep like in the same tense. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I mean, if I'm just sitting okay, here, I, got, I, got, I get it. Talk later? Question mark. The first place I want you to be able to see my baby girl is so cute when he is not an option. The first place my I want babe, my baby girl is so cute when he's not an option. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got some. Text me some things, Link. Uh, fun facts about texting. We still have the things on them. These are these are fake phones we have from the get off the phone shoot, so that's why we can we can put hinges on them gratuitously. Uh, the world's first. See if you knew these already, or if you even <coughs> give a rip. That's it. See, see if you give a rip. One? And you find these fun. Oh, they look pretty fun. The world's, so. the world's first text was sent on December 3rd, 1992. Wow. I was in eighth grade. It said, can you guess? Want to go with me? Is it the text I sent? <laughs> no, the first text sent by, period, not by you. It, here's a hint. It was in December 1992. Merry Christmas, buddy. Very close. It's Happy Christmas. Oh, because it was in. It must have been. Well, I'll tell you. It was sent from an office in Newberry, Berkshire, by British engineer yeah. Neil Papworth. It's Merry <coughs> Christmas here, Neil. Get with the program. Ha they say Happy Christmas over there in Berkshire? Yeah, man. The first mobile phone with a keyboard arrived in what year? Mer first, first mobile phone with a keyboard. <laughs> 1996. Ooh, 97. Oh, I was gonna say seven. First mobile phone with a keyboard, 97, but it was not until the year 2000 that the average Somebody American, actually used it. The average American sent more than one text a day. What? So it, it took three years for most people to use it, which I can relate to that. I mean, when was the first- I still don't text. The first text I sent was, was after the year 2000. I, I, I can say that definitively. Yes. And that's a Definitive fun fact. Um, the first cell phone call I made was in 2001. <laughs> I bought my, I got married and I bought my wife and I phones and I gave her to her and I called her and I was like, this is 
so cool. That was your first cell phone? Yeah. My first cell phone was that Nextel. It was that the phone that was... construction phone. It was just as deep as it was, it was wide. like a football. <laughs> yeah. It would kill you, though. Yeah, it would be, like, dragged. It was like a blunt object. Yeah. It's very large. You like definitely it, couldn't put it in your pocket. Yeah, you could. You, could you kill put it on your belt loop. That's how you, you had it on your belt loop. Well, I was, you know, I was, right. I was an engineer. I'm ready. I'm ready for any call. And it had that thing where you could like, it was like a CB. Yeah, a CB. <laughs> what was what that called? Waste of space. Bloop to talk, I think, is what it was called. Bloop. Bloop to talk. Bloop, Bloop me. To talk. Yeah. Bloop me later. Bloop me. Uh, last year, that was 2013. Over eight trillion text messages were sent worldwide, which works out to an average of over how many a day? Uh, how many texts? Nope. I didn't hear the numbers. One trillion or one hundred trillion? Eight trillion text messages, which uh, works out to an average of over how many a day? Two hundred and seven. Two twenty-seven million. Nope. Three a day. That's gorgeous. Three a day. By a person, each person. Nope. Total. <laughs> yeah, per person. In 2003, hmm. Malaysia decreed that a man can divorce his wife over a bad text. With a text message. That's nice. You just keep it short and simple. Hey baby, it's over. Legally. Send. Oh, send. Ver, send. Wow, that's kind of sad. Yeah, Wait, really. What do you accidentally end a I long would, relationship? I would call that a sad fact about texting. What if you're telling some? What if you think you're texting your wife and you're texting, you think you're texting your friend, but you're texting your wife, and he's like, "Hey, you still in that movie?" He's like, "Yeah, it's over." And then you divorce your wife by accident, legally, you, just because you told somebody you're out of a movie. Well, you have to be careful. <laughs> you got to be careful. I've been, I've been telling you. You got to be careful in Malaysia. I mean, when in Lots doubt. Lots of reasons. When in doubt, I still say, make the phone call. I'm not just in regards to divorce. <laughs> But just in life, if you're gonna, my advice here is, if you're gonna divorce, it should be over the phone. If you're questioning whether you should send a text, you should just call. I think that I, I believe that sending any um, unexpected message via text is is immoral. Immoral. Like saying it's wrong. Saying things like we're breaking up, something that has an emotional consequence, like somebody died. Um, well, we're getting you lost divorce. something important. I'm divorcing. The dog is sick. If the dog is sick, and it's like, the dog is sick, he ate some grass, you can text. But the dog is sick, we gotta put him down. That's a phone call.